I'm Rick Gore out here at Travis Equestrian Center. We're going to talk about sacking out today. Sacking out is basically desensitizing a horse or removing fear. The, the, a lot of people you'll see sacking out, they just scare the horse until the horse finally just says, I can't get away, I'm trapped, and they end up accepting the fear. That's not a, a good example of sacking out. I want my horse to accept the fear and, or accept the, what I'm doing to sack them out and try to remove the fear. I want to decrease his fear. If I just shove it in the face and keep pushing him, I'm just showing him that he can be scared. A horse is sacked out every day of his life. When a bush blows, when a plastic flag blows through, when a tractor drives by, uh, if a kid rides a motorcycle by or a bicycle, all those things is basically desensitizing a horse to something that they don't know what it is, so it's scary. So they have a reaction. So when we're sacking out a horse, not only are we trying to remove fear, we want to make sure that we're enabling ourselves to read the horse. Because when we're sitting on our horse later on a trail ride and something scares our horse, we want to be able to know what that fear is caused by, where he's directing that fear, what he's looking at or what's causing the fear, and how we can deal with it and at what level of fear he's at. So you're going to see different levels of fear here with these two because this guy's a little bit more desensitized, this guy's a little bit more sensitized. He's going to react more than this guy. But when I'm sacking them out, I have to be evaluating how they're showing me their fear, how to stop the fear before they blow up and I push them so far that they panic so I can show them that I can create the fear and I can move it away. I can cause the fear and I can remove it. Because when I'm riding on a trail and my horse gets scared, I want him to think I'm causing it and I can remove it away. Just come back to me. So it's a lot about reading a horse and a lot of people just want to shake things out of a horse and scare them. So there's all kinds of tools that I use. You can use whatever you want. Uh, I've got a few tools here. A Lariat, absolute necessity, you gotta have it. Makes a lot of noise. It, it kind of shakes around, it whips. When it hits the legs, makes a lot of noise. So a Lariat's really good to use. Scarf, it blows kind of funny, doesn't make noise. It's different than a plastic bag. You can watch Tanner as I'm using these different things. He's giving me a reaction behind me and I'm watching this. This is a quite flapping with no noise. This is a loud flapping with a lot of noise. And all I did here is get some plastic bags and time to a whip. I'm sure somebody's out there selling some fancy sack out tool, but all you need is an old whip that somebody throws away, tie a string to it, attach some plastic bags, you got your nice little sack out tool. This is an old bamboo stick. I tied a black plastic bag. This makes a different noise than these light bags. This noise, this noise, they're different. To the horse, they're different. To the horse, they're gonna be scary. This is long and high. So all these different things, uh, a whip, you gotta have a whip when you're sacking out a horse. I don't use it to scare a horse. I don't use it to chase a horse. I use it so a horse ignores it. My horses should not be responding to whips, cracks, the noise. They shouldn't care because if I've done it right, they know that whatever happens around me, no matter how loud or how scary, it's not gonna hurt them. Um, this is a feather duster. It kind of moves funny. The horses haven't seen it. It's nice and soft. It's not going to hurt them, but it gets a reaction. And I'm always looking for different tools to get a reaction from my horse. This is a scarf. It makes a little bit different noise than the plastic bag. It makes more noise than this scarf. So anything you can use to, to get a response from your horse, you want to try and always look and search out things to scare your horse. This is a longer whip that I've attached to plastic bags so I can get them to fly and move through the air. So this is very scary to horses. But I want my horses to know no matter what happens, when they're with me, they're not going to get hurt. So let's, uh, let's try these plastic bags here. I'm going to sack out both these guys a little bit and you're going to see the different responses. His head's going to go up. His neck's going to get a little stiff. He's not going to move because he knows he shouldn't. And because he's not moving, I have to stop. I have to release the pressure. Horses learn on release. If I just keep doing this for 20 minutes, the horse is gonna go, you know what, he won't stop. The right answer must be for me to rear or move. And I don't wanna push a horse. If your horse gets scared, you did it wrong. So he can get a little scared, but as soon as he says he's standing still, good boy. So if he's okay with his back, then I'm gonna move a little closer to his head. And he's okay with that. He's really okay with it. Now I'm gonna get a little bit closer to his head and his face and his ears, and he did fine with that. Now if I just shook it like this in this horse's face, he would be scared. That's not sacking out. Remember, I want him to know that I can remove this so I can make it scary and I can take it away. 
So if you just stay focused on me, you're not going to get hurt. That way we improve our relationship instead of tear it down. Tall plastic bag, different bag, a little bit blowing in the wind, it moves, it's a little bit more scary. I can rub them with the pole to desensitize them, plus I can rub them with the plastic bag. Again, no matter what you use, whether it's a rope, a lariat, you should be able to throw it, you should be able to do anything. The horse shouldn't respond, shouldn't react to it. Whatever I do around my horses, they need to know they're not going to get hurt. And that's sacking out, and that's going to help you and your horse and keep you and them both safe on the trail.